I wanna be the next contender, hoping you feel the pain that I feel. Hoping this hand can really kill, really kill out the way I feel. Out for the heart's ecstasy, pull in the side, hoping you can see. The way how I'm feeling, the way how I'm coping with pain tonight. Hoping you feel alright, just by the night. Keep it a little pillow tight, make sure that you're feeling right before I go. I wanna let you know, I love it for sure, I love it forever and more. Wanna pull up in the Bentley Coupe, let's roll. Revving the engine, no, let's go. We finna be on tour, living it up, make sure you feel the same way. We rockin' down shades, pull up in the damn range, range over, I hope you ain't thinking. I pull up a pull up with Jeep bragging, steady niggas, you know I'm not even bragging. Coping with my feelings, hoping. Let me stop. I don't, let me stop. This might be the last time I do that. I don't know, but what's going on YouTube is your boy OGT Man, and today we got the harsh reality of King, King Sid being exposed by that boy JMB Fargo. Make sure to go like his video, he posted this nine days ago. And yeah, without that being said, let's get started with the video. Six months ago, I made a video covering a huge situation with YouTuber King Sid getting exposed. This was due to his friends and associates having issues with how he was treating them on many occasions. In this situation, we basically saw the Avengers assemble, with many former associates of Sid uploading videos detailing their experiences with him. This would lead to the internet completely turning against him. Like I said in the past, if everyone is saying the same thing about you and their stories line up on top of the public using their own brains, this is the end result. The other day, one of Sid's recent videos got recommended to me for some reason, leading me to wonder about the current state of his YouTube career, so let's get into it. Now, if you don't know who King Sid is, he's a content creator based out of Florida who uploads videos like Smash Your Pass Face to Face, Find Your Match, 20v1s, and these swipe videos that he does. Now, this content is not for me personally, like I say all the time, but he grew a nice audience out of it, and all of the people he associates with are included in these videos. As for Sid's friends exposing him, I'll give you a quick rundown as I don't want to make this video super long. The first of these in the one to spark everything is none other than Nate So Ugly. Nate basically felt like Sid did him dirty on multiple occasions and doesn't respect him at all. When it came to the content house with the group called Steez, Sid basically made him pay rent for that month and forced him to move out that same month. From what I saw, he thinks Sid is a weird person overall. Move in, I paid 15 to move in, right? This was the first issue I had with this nigga. I was on the phone downstairs with a girl. It's 2 p.m., people. Everybody else is still asleep, it's 2 p.m., right? It's 2 p.m., he sees me on the phone, I see him see me on the phone, I'm talking to the girl still on the phone, out of nowhere, Five minutes later, this nigga starts yelling at me, telling me to get off the phone. Oh, why the f*** you on the phone? What if I came downstairs and started talking, this and that? Get the fuck off the phone. You always on the phone. You always on the phone with a different bitch every day. Get the f*** off the phone. What the f***? My nigga, this nigga is telling me to get off the phone to a house I'm paying $1,200 a month. So prior to when I'm not talking, this and that, I'm just vibing. Like, I'm barely, I'm in and out the house. Barely even sleeping there, whatever, avoiding these niggas, stop talking to these niggas. Remind you, I'm still paying rent, bro. So that's when the month of May came in, bro. I'm talking about we're two weeks in, I already paid my 1200 bro. I paid my 1200 I'm barely there, you feel me? Most, all my stuff is there, but I'm paying, you feel me? The middle of the month, the man puts me in a group chat, right? And basically was like, by the, towards the end of this, the month that I just recently paid for, May, Towards the end of this month, everybody have to move out. I just broke the lease. Everybody get out. Do what you got to do. Go find your own place to stay. This and that. I canceled the lease, fam. So when he did that, I kind of told bro, I said, listen, bro, owe me money then. Because I'm not going to pay for a month. I have to move out. Imagine you pay rent, then you have to move out. Who in the fuck pays rent to move out? The man said, I lost money too part of this. Uh, you're not getting your money back. Nate's tension towards Sid is shared with everyone from Call of Kid, Lil Jeff, Smooth Geo, Sway VJ, and Sid's arch nemesis, Miami the Kid. I'll briefly let you hear what Miami the Kid has to say about this situation because he sums up Sid's character pretty well. And the beef between these two has somewhat of a long history, so let me know if you want me to cover that in a future video. I've been told y'all boys straight up, he a hoe. And I heard, I heard some other things about him too. I wouldn't be surprised if he in the closet. I heard a few things. He ain't never gonna know how to get it on his own. Why? You been breastfeeding him the whole time. He don't know how to hustle, bruh. He don't know how to be his own boss. All my niggas around me got their own shit going on. I don't be trying to put niggas under me. Man, I don't want to speak about that studio vid we went to. When I seen your ass and I was in the building and you, you was quiet the whole time, you couldn't even make one start. 
God damn. How many views you got on your channel, bro? You couldn't make one superstar, bro? Two people that I failed to mention earlier are King Sid's two ex-girlfriends, Kenzie, and the infamous Diamond Flawless. Both basically said that Sid was a horrible partner and a bad person overall, only for Diamond to appear in one of Sid's recent videos with the comments cooking her for basically hopping on the hate train at the time. I mean, it makes sense. You can't make a video basically shitting on your ex and talking all this shit about him saying this and this and that and basically confirming what the new girl is saying and then you hop in a video with him after that just smiling and shit i understand why the internet is acting like that after the internet walked him down and emptied the clip sid will respond in a video of his own and go on a social media tirade which included him speaking on losing 25,000 subscribers and counting from the situation any reason to talk because you niggas got passed and you didn't want to catch back up don't do that try ass hating ass he was just at my house like a week ago trying to make me promote a clothing brand they like what the Hold up, y'all. Let me see. Yeah, ma. Um, I don't know. I'm making a video. That's why. But I'll go check afterwards. After I'm done with my video. In the house. Okay. Hold up, y'all. My bad, y'all. Had to make sure my mama package was at the door. Boom. Without everything, let's get back. My my fault. I'm I'm not gonna cut this out. I ain't gonna lie. There's there's no point. I'm apologizing to y'all for what they said. I'm not trying to make y'all think I'm that person. I apologize to y'all. Why apologizing to us? Come on, bro. Then I go to post the receipt. Now some of y'all dick sucking ass niggas like, why the fuck you posting? This is too much info. This and that, nigga. What the fuck, bitch? I wanna know this shit. When the smoke started to clear, Sid issued an apology statement on Instagram looking to move past things, but it obviously wasn't that easy. He continued his uploads on YouTube as usual, and the comments didn't let him off the hook. As Sid's views dropped and less people got recommended his content, these hate comments would kind of slow up. And speak Are you having trouble trying- That's karma. Treating your, treating your friends bad. And speaking of views, let's talk about that. Before being exposed, Sid would average about 800,000 to 1 million views per video. With some of his older content being in a 1.5 to 2 million and even 3 million view range. Now, after being exposed, there's a clear drop in views, putting him in a 200,000 to 400,000 views range, which is 100% not bad, by the way. But for a channel of his size that has almost 3 million subs and is very consistent, I don't think it's that far off to say that having 800,000 to 1 million views per upload is very obtainable. He does have a few outlier videos Videos that hit a million views around this time, but I'm just gonna chalk it up to him using Lil RT's influence reviews. Sid does have another channel where he posts vlogs and other stuff, and even tried out streaming on Twitch for a bit. Dude, small as hell, little ass tank shorts, midget ass goofy ass shorts were bought at the kids section. You think you're funny or what? No, that's not us. I swear to God, that's not us. That's not us. 
we don't have nice. it. Then who is it? It's, it's no, it's, it's the it's chat. It's, it's new. new. It's a shame we're sitting right now. It's a shame we got a red sign. I swear it's not us. I'm about to say, what just happened? We can't even cut that in. Why he letting the hoe talk? We didn't mean Shut up, ho. Bro. <laughs> Who the fuck keep coming in at? You're fucking wild. Whoever keep coming in, you're a wild nigga. Shut your bitch ass up. In the aftermath of this situation, we are witnessing someone who essentially blackballed himself and is 100% to blame for his actions. I don't hate King Sid, but I don't agree with many of the things relating to his character. As for fans of Sid, this video was not made to make you not watch him. Bro, just watch King Sid, enjoy his content. But I just wanted to document the aftermath and how everything has turned out after this whole exposed situation happened. But I still get comments on that old video to this day, so I felt like it made sense. But make sure you join the Discord to continue this conversation. It's Fargo, and I'm out, man. All right, so that's that's the end of the video. Appreciate you, Fargo, for this. But I remember when, this, when all this first started, about how people was over there exposing him, talking about he a bad friend, this, this and that. And I was like, damn. Even even your own people turning on against you, like at the end of the day, it don't matter if business involved or not. You still not supposed to treat some people who you call your your brother, your homie, and all that like shit, cause that's it's only gonna come back and bite you in your ass. And and this is a prime example, prime example. I remember when him and Ken, him and Smooth Geo got to fighting. I remember that. I was like, damn, that's what you get, said. It's just. I'm not. I'm not telling y'all niggas to hate on him either. I'm, I'm just saying you just gotta watch the people who you associate yourself with. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video. All right, make sure to. He is the reincarnation of Pretty Boy Fredo. Who knows? Recording in the shower is wild as hell. I'm telling. You. But, um, yeah, without it being said, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yee -yee.